Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. Thanks for pushing play. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about some Corvette current events, as well as take a ride over to Auto Direct Cars to take a look at all the Corvettes that they've got for sale. So stick around. Hey, like I said, thanks for pushing the play button, guys. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jeff zippity doo -dah, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like today's content, please give it a thumbs up. And please, please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build the channel up and uh, also follow me over on Instagram under Zippity's Garage as well and over on Facebook too because I will post some live events and update photographs and things of that nature on both of those channels as well. So with that said, I'm in my garage today, but I'm not wearing one of my shirts. I am wearing one of my shirts from my friend from the Great White North Corvette. The Great White North <laughs> Great White North Corvette. Great YouTube channel. New to the whole YouTube world, so please go check his channel out. He's up in Canada. He's got an Accelerate Yellow C8 Corvette with red mirror cats. So uh, he's building his YouTube channel. So trying to help him build that. He's got one of my t-shirts. So again, it's all about helping the Corvette YouTube community out. So please, with that said, go check out his channel. So in the last 24 hours over the course of uh, the last day here in the Corvette world, the 2022 Corvette visualizer went live. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put some photographs down below, but Chevrolet is gonna be doing two new Corvette racing liveries for the C8 Corvette for the 2022 model year. So they're gonna have the yellow Corvette racing car as well as the gray Corvette racing car. So um, put some photos of those here, let you guys check those out. But if you go over to the Corvette visualizer, you should be able to see those. Um, some other fun stuff. Um, if you're into all things Corvette, go check out lego.com. Uh, lego just released a new C8 uh, Corvette as well as a C3. So it's a C8R race car and a 1968 Corvette Stingray under the Speed Champions uh, series from LEGO. So if you haven't seen, you know, I've got all kinds of goofy stuff for Corvette, so I'll probably do a video here at some point with all the different Corvette uh, memorabilia and so forth that I have. Um, another big thing to check out too, if you're in the Texas market, check out CorvetteInvasion.com. It's the largest Corvette show in Texas. And that's set for, I believe it's July 18th. I'll put the link in the description here, right here. So please go check that out. That's run by a good friend of mine. He was the Corvette Caravan captain for the Texas region in 2019. So go check out his information. If you're in that area, please go check out that Corvette show. Um, also, if you're new to the channel here, Go back and check out some of the old videos from May. Like I had mentioned, this channel is dedicated to the fun and games with the automotive enthusiasm. So in May, we did quite a bit. We had a Corvette track day where we saw snow, ice, and sleet. Uh, but then we also had bright sunshine too. So that was the beginning of the month. Then also in May, was fortunate enough to go down to the Amelia Island car show. And I have three different separate videos just on Amelia Island itself. Then I was invited down to Criswell Chevrolet to cover the 5,000th delivery of Mike Furman's Corvette career. So he delivered 5,000 Corvettes over the course of his career. And I went down and did some video coverage focusing on Corvette number 5,000. So check that video out. And then we rounded out the month of May at Memorial Day. Um, we did a car, my local club, did a car show on Memorial Day. So I have a quick walk around video of all the different vehicles there. And then last week, it wasn't in May, 
but the Allentown Area Corvette Club did a car show up in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania at the Steel Stacks Art Center. So check that video out as well. So a lot of cool content. Um, I do plan on getting back down to Kerbeck here in the next week or so uh, to cover what they've got in stock. Challenge at Kerbeck is right now they're dedicated, you know, they're slowing down because of the plant shutdown. So their plant's not building cars. So quite frankly, Kerbeck isn't taking any deliveries in because the plant can't get them out. So with that said, I took a ride over to Auto Direct in Edgewater Park, New Jersey, and they really have been um, doing a bang up job on selling really low mileage, high quality Corvettes. Um, anywhere from the C6 to C7s, and now their first C8 Corvette. The C8 Corvette that they've got in the building right now is a 2021 Torch Red 3LT Z51 with the Cool Sky Gray interior. Really beautiful car. And they also have a Sebring Orange car that's due to arrive next week that's also a 3LT Z51 with uh, black accents and the high wing Z51 spoiler. So I'll be sure to capture that once we get, um, get that in inventory. Also in the Corvette world, if you can't quite get a C8 like myself and you want to take an opportunity to win one, I've got links down below where you can win two different C8 Corvettes. One is the Cunningham Corvette, which was built to commemorate the Briggs Cunningham cars running over at Le Mans in 1960. It's one of the cars that we covered down at the Amelia Island. And then there's another one that's also a white C8 Corvette that helps benefit, the, and both of these cars help benefit the Chip Miller Amyloidosis Foundation. So I'll put links down below for both of those Corvette raffles. All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Zippity's Garage. We are out on location today at Auto Direct Cars, autodirectcars.com in Edgewater Park, New Jersey, who is specializing in pre-owned Corvettes and really excited uh, to show you what we have in inventory right now. There's a lot of nice stuff here. We're gonna do a quick dealer walk around. But first, I wanted to say a big thank you and shout out to a friend of mine, Andrew, with his YouTube channel, which is Great White North Corvette. So make sure you go over and check out Andrew's channel. He is um, new to YouTube, growing channel, and he's up in Canada with the Great White North Corvette. So he's got an Accelerate Yellow C8 Corvette. So please go over and check out his channel, subscribe to it. So there's a lot of fun Corvette content there. So we're gonna be doing that with a couple other YouTubers where we're sort of switching out, you know, we can have t-shirts and so, you know, just trying to help promote the Corvette YouTube community. So with that said, I did a previous walkthrough um, probably a couple months ago here at Auto Direct. But at that time, they really didn't want to play in the C8 market, in the used C8 market. Well, you can see what's behind me, guys, um, is a Torchland C8 Corvette 2021 3LT Z51 car. Don't know if it has the lift or not, but it is the cool sky gray interior. So, um, and please uh, excuse my feet noise, you can hear some of the squeaking as I'm walking around. But this thing is beautiful. It's a 2021 um, Z51 with the base wheel and a little spoiler. But let's take a look inside of it real quick. And the mileage on this thing comes in at just under 6,000 miles. Let's see if it comes back up for us. Come on, take a look. Yep, 59.82 as far as the mileage goes and well specced out 3LT with the white stitching, beautiful red seat belt, great accent with the white seats. Um, really, really nice looking car. It comes with the colored top. I believe that's what's in the back. Let, let's give it a start here and listen up real quick. For those that haven't seen this, this is actually a video camera, um, the rear view mirror. You can flip the tab down here and it goes back to a traditional mirror, but if you flip, it, it is actually a video camera and that video camera is mounted on the top rear of the vehicle, on the hatch. 
I'm gonna turn this off and memory seats. We've got the easy exit, they slide back for us. So let's get out. But like I said, that is your camera for the rear view mirror. This is where we're located. And like I said, just jump on their website and you'll be able to learn more about all these different cars. So yes, here's the colored top. You can see how that secures in the rear. There's your mid-engine. Um, just a well put together car. They just took this one in delivery um, in the last day or two. And from what I understand, they have an orange one coming. They have a Cedar Orange 3LT that should be delivered here next week. So keep an eye out on the website. Um, something unique on this car is that it does have the black lettering, the black Stingray, and that also gives you a black emblem on the key fob. Whereas if you have the chrome package, the key fob then becomes chrome. So really nice car. If you're in the market for a C8, check out what this thing's going for. Um, again, I don't know pricing and so forth on every single car, but if you go to their website, all the information will be up there for you. So let's do some, here's the squeak I was talking about. The, the uh, floors here are nice and clean, <laughs> not to mention the cars. So white Z06 convertible. And what's unique about this one is it's got the painted um, vents and so forth. So if you look on the back here, you can see these vents are body color with the clear tail light, just a different look as far as the Z06 is concerned. Uh, automatic transmission, um, beautiful, beautiful car. But then let's spin around, take a look at what the lot looks, or what the inside looks like. So again, unique color. Here's your Night Race Blue. This is your Black Rose Metallic with the dark, oh, I believe this is the Kalahari. So eight speed automatic on this transmission. And see the night rays blue was a 14. Then you got another beautiful black convertible over here. It's a 2016 Z06 automatic. And then here, these are two of my favorite cars, ceramic matrix. So this one is going to be a standard Grand Sport. It's got the Jake skull on the uh, hood. Um, 2019 with the red interior with an automatic transmission, red paddle shifters. Um, so really nice spec on this. And the red really, you know, the color goes well, the red interior goes well with that ceramic matrix. Now this car is something really special. The carbon 65 Grand Sport um, comes with the blue calipers, carbon fiber um, on the uh, side skirts. But then you get all the blue stitching, the blue Alcantara, or the Alcantara with the blue stitching on the 3LT interior. And it is a manual transmission. So there's your big call out on this car. These things are going for big dollars right now. Um, they had an automatic version in here about two weeks ago, sold within, I think, two to three days of it being listed online. So if you're in the market for a Carbon 65 Grand Sport, don't wait, get on the phone with these guys now. And again, manual transmission, competition seats, lots and lots of carbon fiber. Um, mileage, let's take a look at the pops for us. We'll hit start, stop. And 5,000 miles, 5,001 guys, is what this car has mileage wise. So, you know, that, that's what these guys are specializing in, are these really low miles cars. Um, they have one Trying to see, I put it up on my Instagram about a week or two ago. It had less than a thousand miles on it. It was a 2014. So, I mean, these things, some of these cars are just ridiculously low miles. So this is a 14, 13,000 miles on it. Arctic white, red interior, uh, going over a black one. Blue, a little squeaky, sorry. Here's another white one. What do we got? This is a 16 Z51 2LT, skinny body car, 
manual transmission, real nice car. I'm still squeaking, Grand Sport in your black, um, your dark, uh, I'm sorry, your goodness gracious, black rose. Um, Grand Sport with black interior with a manual transmission. Really, really nice car and mileage on this car, 4,100 miles. So 4,100 miles, 70,990 is what this car is listed for. Um, let's see, I believe this was the crazy low mileage car. Manual transmission, yeah, this is it. Manual transmission, competition seats with white with gray. Gonna pop this open. Gonna hit start stop so we get the dash to come out. 814 miles. This thing has had two tanks of gas basically uh, since 2014. So uh, anybody looking for a seven year old brand new car, this is it. Skinny body, black wheel, red caliper, just a really, really nice spec with the competition gray seats with the gray, gray stripes on it. Just a beautiful car. And it's a 3LT as well. So, I mean, these things are very well specced out. Like I said, less than a thousand miles on the thing. <laughs> Blue Z06, you know, I've got a soft spot for Blue Z06s, being I have one in the garage. Let's take a look at this one. 2019, 4,300 miles on it. And it is an automatic black interior, um, silver with a red interior. Really nice color combination. This is an automatic, Grand Sport. Really nice wheel on this car. And no sticker there. Black skinny car, chrome. And this is a 17, 3LT. And let's see, do we have mileage? Probably over on the other side. Let's take a look. The mileage on this car is just over 15,000, 15,001. So 67,990 on this car. Automatic transmission. Again, Z06 convertible, black wheel, red caliper, manual transmission. Can't go wrong there. And we captured this night race blue, but here's the dark rose again. So you've got an automatic Grand Sport that's done up in the black rose. And then all the way in the back where we covered, we had a manual Grand Sport that's done up in the black rose metallic. So take your picture or take your pick, whether you want an automatic, or if you're looking for a manual transmission black rose. Then we get into some colors. Blue, red, yellow, white, um, blue convertible, gray interior, beautiful car at to 2014 with 18,000 miles on it, 56.9. Red one, 17, 5,700 miles on it for 62.9, manual transmission car. And everybody talks about, you know, prices, prices, prices. Guys, you've got to know where the market is right now, though. Everything is elevated. Um, here's a 14, 54.9 with 42,000 miles on it. So there's one with a little bit more miles on it, but my goodness, it is in beautiful condition. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but I can't see any flaws on this car. Uh, looking at it real quick, like white skinny car with black accents. So, you know, a lot of black to break up all the white with a red interior. So this is a 15 with 6,000 miles on it. So, I mean, just a 3LT. So trying to find the 3LTs, you know, in a skinny car, it's not easy because anybody that would got a skinny car 3LT, they would, you know, because of the price point where it ends up, would upgrade to a Grand Sport. So trying to find the skinny bodied car as a 3LT can be a challenge. Trust me, I've been looking. Um, here's your, I believe it's one of the grays, Grand Sport. And yeah, this is the Watkins Glen, 16,000 miles, 2017 for 77.9. It's an automatic transmission, matte finished carbon fiber on the dash. 
again, really, really nice looking car. And then you've got your silver. So, you know, you want different colored cars, guys. They have them here. $60,000, 5,500 miles on a 2015. Again, another 3LT skinny car. So, again, 3LT. And we have an automatic transmission on the blade silver. Matte finish carbon fiber. And again, 5,500 miles on the car. So again, really, really nice build on this. The body length spoiler on it. Um, just a really nice car. Spin around, we still have two more rows to go and another showroom uh, as well, guys. So C6s, you know, the, those C7s that are, you know, still up there in price, C6 is still an unbelievable value. This car is at 40,990. It's a 2011 with 7,800 miles on it. Crystal red, 2LT, and it is a automatic transmission. Just a really pretty, pretty car. Um, spin around. Massive Michelins on the back of this with the HRE wheels on this particular convertible. Beautiful wheel. Two-tone interior. Let's take a look at what the price point is. $48,990, so you're under $50,000. 2010 with $37,53 as far as the mileage goes. So you're under 3,800 miles, guys. So a 3LT convertible with a manual transmission. This is almost the perfect car. I mean, this is beautiful. With not to mention probably $5,000 in upgrades as far as the wheels are concerned. You're looking for that unique car? Indy 500 pace car replica, C6, and this was a seven, 2007. It's got the graphics for the pace car edition, and looks like some custom seat covers to bring out the orange, orange armrest, and some orange decor on the inside to really play off that exterior color. A really nice spec, 45,990, 12,900 miles on this thing from 2007. So if you're looking for that unique Corvette, this is one of them. Another really cool and unique C6. Back here is the Centennial Edition. This is a Grand Sport. Red calipers. So this celebrated the 100th anniversary of General Motors. You can see the 100 emblem here. And this is not black. This is carbon flash. So hopefully it comes across on the video. We're not outdoors, obviously, uh, but it is an automatic Alcantara with red stitching on the interior. You've got Lewis Chevrolet on the uh, steering wheel hub, and you've got a nice 100 emblem, you know, embossed into the headrest as well. Navigation, just a really unique car. You don't see many of these. There was a ZR1 version of this car up at the Allentown area Corvette Club car show, Corvette show that I covered last week. So check out that video if you want. Back in the C7, manual transmission, gray with the um, Kalahari interior. It's a 14, 22,000 miles on it. Z51 3LT convertible for 56,990. Really pretty spec. And again, skinny body car, high option, 3LT convertible, really nice spec. Spin around, we'll stay in the C7 generation. Z06, polished wheel. This is a 19 with 6,566 miles. So this is a 2LZ, removable roof, manual transmission. So again, black on white, white with the black interior. You want some color? Okay, you want some color? We got the yellow with an automatic. And again, skinny body car, 14, 32,000 miles for 58,990, a 3LT Z51. So again, here's your high option 3LT Z51 car. It's got the competition seats in it. If you've been out to Spring Mountain, this is basically how they would option out their C7s. Competition seats, Z51, and with a 3LT. So this car new was probably close to a $90,000 sticker price. 
And then um, back into the C6 generation, we got a 2010 that's brand spanking new that just arrived. Um, chrome wheels, the gray calipers. This was owned by an elderly gentleman who just traded it in um, and very low, uh, low miles from what I understand, but a beautiful, beautiful color combination with the crystal red and the tan interior. A beautiful Grand Sport. We'll stay with the C6s here. It's a 3LT um, as well. And then we go over to a silver convertible. And let's see what we can find out. 33,990. So it's got 23,000 miles on it. Again, relatively low miles, guys, for a 2006. Done up in machine silver, convertible with an automatic transmission. Now, if you're looking for something that'll rumble and move the pavement, all you need to know is Lingenfelter. So Lingenfelter has breathed on this car. <laughs> um, manual transmission convertible, really, really pretty car. And it's the 427 version. Um, so again, just a really unique car. Black headlight buckets against the crystal red. Really, really looks nice. So 427 1SC 2013 with 8,100 miles on it for 72,990. And there's probably 15, 20 grand in the Lingenfelter modifications to this car. So I know folks can be a little bit leery about buying a modified car, but if you buy a modified car that's done by a Lingenfelter or a Callaway, you can certainly feel much more assured that the work was done correctly by a number one shop. So that's exactly what this car is. So over to the C7s, we've got a 2016 Z06 Coupe, automatic white with the red interior, black wheels, black mirror, carbon flash, sorry, carbon flash mirrors and so forth, but a beautiful red interior with the automatic transmission. Carbon flash spoiler, carbon flash air vents. And unlike that Z06 that was up front, this is, has the carbon flash vents as opposed to the body color. So another silver and red car, this time in a Z06. 81,990 for a 2016 with just under 12,000 miles on it. And this is a 3LZ automatic car. So again, that pretty much captures the cars that we see in this showroom. But I'm gonna take a quick little walk because they have another showroom and they have Corvettes back there, but then they also have some really cool, unique muscle cars back here too, as well as convertibles. So let's take a flip around with the camera, go through the pretty door. They've got what looks like two Corvettes out here. They got a C3 convertible back there and then a silver C6 two-tone interior. And I'm gonna really squeak out here because the floors are really clean. Automatic transmission, two-tone interior on this car. Squeak, squeak, squeak. 35,990 for 2008 with 24,000 miles on it. Machine silver. Um, doesn't list the option level, but uh, I'm gonna guess at least a, a one or two LT. There is no navigation screen, so could be a one or two LT, but really nice combination with the seats. Now let's spin around. You've got Nissan convertible, Mercedes convertible, Porsche convertible, another Mercedes, BMW 428, BMW M3, Mercedes, Mercedes, really nice Mercedes, another Mercedes, Audi convertible, Lexus convertible over in the corner. So you want some muscle cars? We've got muscle cars. We've got, you know, a Chevy Camaro, but okay, ah, where, where's the big honking V8s and so forth? Well, how about a Hellcat? So they've got this, they just took this Hellcat in, manual transmission car. Oh, what about Camaro? We wanna stay in General Motors. Okay, how about a ZL1? So they got a ZL1 here. They've also got a Shelby <laughs> Mustang three, GT350. Um, really, really stout automobile. Camaro convertible. You want your hot hatch? You've got a Focus ST. I owned one of these cars. They are a sh uh, uh, 
an S-ton, a lot of fun to drive. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that, keep the, uh, the language to a minimum on YouTube today. But um, you can see all the different variety that they have here. And, you know, I know we talk about, you know, where the markets have gone price-wise, guys. But when I pulled in here today, they had a, Z a red on red Z06 C7 going home to the new owner. So, I mean, some of these cars, you know, as far as pricing is concerned, it's crazy what some of these things are going for at auction. Some of these things are going for full retail price, not auction pricing, full retail pricing on what some of these things will trade for. So if you're in the market for a used Corvette, by all means, get on the website, get on the phone, look up autodirectcars.com. They're in Edgewater Park, New Jersey. If you don't live in New Jersey, don't let that stop you. These guys will ship all over the country. They can help with that. They can help with the financing as well. So by all means, get in touch with these guys. And you know, you, I opened the video with the C8 Corvette. Obviously, you know, some people are all bent out of shape about people flipping those cars and so forth. But hopefully you got an opportunity to watch me do the 5,000 delivery video um, that I did down at Criswell Chevrolet with Mike Furman. The gentleman that took delivery of Corvette number 5,000's name was Bob. Bob was telling me even before he went and took delivery, he had received offers to sell his Corvette. Hadn't even taken delivery of his brand new C8 Corvette yet and had already been offered uh, to sell the car. That's how hot that car is right now. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the whole microchip thing, but I mean, there's articles out there about, you know, these cars, you know, all cars. Corvettes are a little bit unique because of the fact that it's a new model and everything else that goes into it, but just everything else with the chip shortage and, you know, hopefully this market's gonna level out here in the next, you know, year, uh, let's hope so, because I'm gonna be in the market for two cars come uh, the start of 2022. So I need to replace two vehicles. So hopefully things will calm down. But just another quick little pan around the dealership. I'm gonna wait, my buddy Michael's gonna wait for the camera as he's way over there. So allowing me to come in here after hours to do this so we don't interrupt his customers and so forth. But again, it just goes to show these guys are serious about selling low mileage, Newer Corvettes, they're not getting any the new. These are pre-owned Corvettes, but my gosh, they are cream puffs, guys, when I tell you low mileage. 2014 over there with less than 900 miles on it. That's ridiculous. So get online, look up all the pricing and specs that you saw in the video. If you have any questions, give him a call. Call Michael, he'll love to talk to you. So with that said, guys, until the next video, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out my friend up at the Great White North Corvette.